I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to read the information from a histogram. The question here is consider the graph below to answer the questions. So in this graph we are given weight of students. Part A is how many students were involved in the survey? B. How many students weigh 55 kg or less? C. What percentage of students weigh between 50 kg and 60 kg? D is calculate the mean of the students. Now to find how many students are there, let us look into each interval. So from 45 to 50, we have 10 students. So in the first group, we have 10. So let's write down 10 in the first group. Second group is from 50 to 55, in which we have 15. The third group, 55 to 60, we have 20 students. In the group 60 to 65, there are 30 students. 65 to 70, the weight of the students is, is 15. And then 70 to 75, it is there are five students. Let's add them up, right? So when you add them up, you get 5, 10, 15, 5, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 9. So 95 kg is the weight of, I mean, 95 is the number of students, right? So how many students were involved in the survey? So we know there were 95 students. Now the question is, how many students weigh 55 kg or less? Now in this histogram, 55 kg or less means the number of students who are on the left side. So that is the number of students we have to look into. So that is 10 plus 15, right? So all these students weigh 55 or less. So it is 10 plus 15, that is 25 students. What percentage of students weigh between 50 kg and 60 kg? So for that, let's look into this group between 50 to 60 kg. So this is the group now we are interested in. Total number of students, let's look into it. We'll do the calculations here. In this group, 50 to 60, total number of students are, this is 15, right? And this is 20. So if you add them up, 15 plus 20, we get 35. So it is 35 students. We need to find what percentage, that means 35, over the total number of students, right? So, so in percentage, it will be 35 divided by total number of students, which is 95 times 100. So let's calculate this value. 35, 35 divided by 95 times 100. In decimals, it is 36.84 percent right so that is the percent of students between this so the answer here is 36.8 percent now the question is calculate the mean of the students now how will you calculate mean of the students now to calculate the mean we have to of course divide by the total number of students which will be 95 what comes on the top now here we should take the middle value because we don't know exactly how much each student weighs right so we know there are 10 students who weigh between 45 to 50 so what we need to do is find the middle value of each and then multiply that with the number of students in that particular group right so let's find the middle value of each 45 to 50 so add 45 plus 50 divide by 2 
So that gives you a value of 47.5. So the first group, the weight, average weight is 47.5. And how many students are there? There are 10 students. That gets multiplied by 10 plus. Next group, the average is 5 more, right? So it is 52.5. So we'll write 52.5 times 15. Then we'll add 57.5 times 20, right? And then we have 62.5. I'm running out of space, so I'll add the numbers here. 62.5 times 30 plus 67.5 times times 15 plus 72.5 times 5. So that goes on the top. It's kind of a weighted mean, right? So let's multiply these numbers. So we have 47.5 times 10 plus 52.5 times 15 plus 57.5 times 20 plus 62.5 times 30 plus 67.5 times 15 plus 72.5 times so, so we get that number and we'll divide this by 95 total number of students divide by 95 in decimals we get average weight of students as 59.6 kg right so that becomes the average or the mean of the students right so that becomes the mean so for the mean, we have to find the midpoint of each group, multiply that with the number of students. That gives us the weight of each group. Add it up and then divide by total number of students to get the mean. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn. Thank you and all the best.